Hi, I'm Morten Gans Pedersen, and you're watching Rovers Channel. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to the Rover State YouTube channel. We've done it. Rovers have ended the win-loss, win-loss, win-loss streak. The 2 0 win over former manager Tony Mowbray and his Sunderland side at Ewood Park. Uh, before I start, remember to hit like, hit subscribe, help us get to 3,000 uh, subscribers. Really appreciate it. I think it's relief, the overriding feeling of relief that Rovers have finally stopped, you know, this up and down trend. And now it's a chance to push on before the World Cup break comes in. I think you sit there and you know, you're in the ground and you're nervous straight away, aren't you? Because you know the way we've been with form, you know that one week we're great and one week we're not. And I felt then nerves were kind of around everywhere for the first 30 minutes or so. And then Brereton Diaz obviously pops up with, you know, the goal that he did. And I understand the foul at the other end. From the angles I've seen, one looks like it's a foul, one doesn't. I probably think it was a foul. You know, I'm not going to make excuses and pretend that the referees are great. I feel for Sunderland there, but... Rovers made the most of it. We had the penalty at Cardiff the other week that really didn't go our way. So it's kind of nice to get one back, even though we'll be slating the referees again next week. But that doesn't matter on the Rovers side, at least. It will for Mowbray, it will for Sunderland fans, and I appreciate that. But we'll take all the luck we can get, you know, to end this run. And what a finish from Diaz, you know, excluding everything that's gone on. The ball were a bit lucky to get to him, but the way he steps up and whips it left foot in the top corner, I think it's incredible. Really good finish. And then, Rovers kind of just kept dominating the game and they come out after the break and score quick. Two feet, the last two games are things we've not seen all season. You know, in the middle of the game, we come out first uh, we come out the first half and score, you know, really two quick goals and then this game we score in the second half. I know we've done it the odd time, but not enough. And hopefully this is a sign of Rovers that we're going to come out, get that advantage early on rather than waiting and trying to nick a game or, you know, having to defend a lot more because we didn't. And... You know, it gets to 2-0 and we expect Rovers to sit back and try and consolidate. We know Sunderland have talent, you know, they're a talented side. Mowbray can get results in this division, we know that. And it feels like they're sitting back with the right idea. And it worked, yeah, you know, they had the chances, don't get me wrong. We pulled off a good few saves, they weren't completely out again. But we kept strong and that's a Rovers side we want to see. We've bemoaned for years the amount of time we can see the silly goal in that moment. Look at the Millwall game. Uh, a few weeks ago we've been moaned it so many times and we finally you know we keep them out we look solid enough we ran the ball out well we probably should have scored up the other end but we give the ball away with a silly touch I think Brereton were running at one point and his legs just won't move and that shows the effort that's gone into the game you know we've really put everything in and it would deserve win for the Sunderland fans you know I think as Rovers fans we're probably better placed than anyone to know that they'll have these spells under Mowbray where they they're not that good away from home and then they'll play a home game and look like the best side. And that's kind of that. That's Mowbray almost. And, you know, I think if I'm a Sunderland fan, if I'm saying something to a Sunderland fan, I'd be saying just trust in it, let it carry on, let it, and you'll get back on a winning run. And, you know, that's it. But focus on Rovers on this video and just how good they were. I think, you know, we'll go into the ratings video later, but the way that Rovers controlled the ball in the midfield, Jake Garrett on his debut, brilliant. You know, he, not Tyler Morton out the side who probably didn't deserve to be, but he's still impressed. Tyler Morton in the midfield showed his ability. Sammy Smodic didn't get a goal, but he ran and he ran and he ran every time. And you could tell he was there. Uh, you could tell he was struggling, and then he pulls up with that injury, and you know he's taken off at the right time. Rovers do it. We finally end this win loss win loss, and now it's time to back it up. You know Birmingham on Saturday. We've got Hull, Coventry, Huddersfield, the West Ham Cup game, and the big one at Burnley before the. Uh, I think it's a Burnley Saturday, Birmingham Saturday. We end up with uh, this little spell with Burnley. And, you know, it's a big chance for Rovers to sit themselves in a place ahead of a good few weeks that Rovers, I think, need. You know, we need that break from football. We need that break to work on stuff on the training ground, get it drilled in when we come back. And it's kind of, there's optimism now. And I'm not saying it's more optimism than there was before. There's kind of a, feeling that he would that you know maybe we can push on you know we know there's going to be ups and downs we're not kidding ourselves as Rovers fans for anyone else watching or even the Rovers fans watching we know we're not the team that's going to win every game but there's belief and there's fire in this team there's young lads who want to take the chance when you come in Ash Phillips Jake Garrett Adam Moore and Jack Vale even you know got a game today which he hasn't really for a bit and there's something there for Rovers and I hope that we can just keep winning Keep putting points on the board. Be around that top six. For when that World Cup comes, if we're around that top six, who knows what can happen for the rest of the season. 
we won't get ahead of ourselves, but it's good to uh, to end that run. It's a really good feeling. You could see what we're rocking at the end of the game. You know, there's a few videos on Twitter, and tonight felt a really good night for Rovers, and I felt for them who travel from Sunderland. But that's my reaction. Let us know how you feel about the game. Who impressed you? Who didn't? You know, we'll focus on that on the ratings from our side. But let us know below. You know, who were your man of the match? Obviously, Jake Garrett won it, but. Hit subscribe, hit like as well, you know, do everything that helps us. We'll be back soon for the rating video, I'm sure. You'll see all of this and then we're back for Saturday's content. Check it all out. We really appreciate your support.